All right, so Dave Galair, Fall Rove. Hello, hello. Uh, my name is Emma, and I'm joined here uh, by Deirdre, who joins me all the way from Ontario in Canada. Do you agree, Deirdre? He's Marie. Uh, so yeah, Gurmila Mahago, Deirdre, for joining me today for our Agle of Wheel. And yeah, I'm really excited just to hear your story, how you've been finding your journey with Gaeilge and Bite Size Irish and the whole lot of it. So I suppose we can start off and you can tell me a bit about yourself as Gaeilge, if you'd like. Okay. Uh, August uh, Tamarash, uh, good year, and Bjognak of Lina. Uh, Tommy, our uh, score on this, August uh, Barshin is paid along, or quid on a Kahabic forum, Kyor Gurga, on Gurga, August Shano, August Roddy Marshin, a Tarsemagum. Gurhutok, Gurhutok, Mahu, yeah, so that's the thing I like to hear is, you know, you can really see that your, your Gurga has come along since. I don't know, when did you start actually with us in Bite Size? Maybe that'd be my first question. Uh, yeah, I think it was around March because, uh, yeah, we're on March and, and, and why it was just uh, sort of, I never thought I would actually be doing Irish or learning Irish or speaking Irish. Uh, I was, I, I love Irish music and I start last year I was back in Dingle, County Kerry, and uh, I was a, a, a skull, skull, um, uh, Scholar Narek in Dingle, and, and they spoke Irish as we did the music. So our, our teacher just spoke Irish through the whole week. <laughs> hey. and, um, yeah, so I thought, this is a little bit much, really. <laughs> I don't speak Irish, but, you know, they didn't change their tune. They, they continued to speak Irish, and then I started trying to speak a few words of Irish. And... Um, you know, I, I just love. I just love that I was able to remember the Irish again, and that that got me interested in, in, in the Irish. And I, I I did always love Irish when I was going to school. I wasn't good at the grammar, but I loved Irish itself. So and then this year, this March, everything was online. Mm. So what? what uh, so I, again, I joined up for the uh, Scholar in Dingle, and I had the same music teacher. Uh, spoke all the way through Irish, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, <laughs> I don't speak Irish, <laughs> <laughs> but he continued to speak Irish. And what really got me was where there were three more uh, in the class, and uh, none of them from Ireland. One was from Germany, one was from uh, Korea, I think, and one was from England, and they had an understanding of the Irish. So. I kept my mouth shut after day one, and okay. I. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I thought to myself, "This is something I can do." So that week, that week, I signed up for bike size deal. Yeah, that was. Wow. That I, that I thought, yeah. So I was so impressed how how you know people from other parts of the world are interested in Irish and making the effort, and I I wasn't making the effort, even mm -hmm. though I love the Irish. So. So that really is what it comes down to, Emma. It's just making the effort. Excellent, yeah. excellent. I totally agree with you. I think I can really resonate with that idea of um, people abroad, you know, outside of Ireland learning Irish. And some people might question why. Well, it's like any other language, isn't it? They've made the effort. They have an interest in whatever culture or whatever part of Ireland or Irish that they have, and they've put in the effort. And if they can, so can you, you know, maybe that's exactly, you needed kind of that little push or that little kick to to start yeah. and yeah. it's made the difference. And so tell me a bit more about that course. So was that, I? they were speaking fully Oscoilga and then were you, were all your songs that you were learning or whatever music that you were doing, was that in through Irish also, every song? Well, well, it wasn't singing actually. It was, I was learning the button accordion. Oh, wow, okay. Yes. So um, after my trip back last year to Ireland, I can't believe it's the last year. It seems so long with this pandemic. I know. Uh, uh, yes. So um, uh, I, I, I had always had a great interest in the Bartman accordion, but since I retired, as I said, well, I decided 
I can I have had an interest in it all these years and what am I doing about it? So I thought I better start lessons. And I started lessons a year ago and I'm loving it. And yeah, it's a bit of work, yes. And mm-hmm. and the and the classes that the, that uh, he was giving us, uh, the teacher was from Dingle, so he was an Irish speaking Irish speaking. So yeah, so that's how that got. So maybe next year I'll go back and I'll have the Irish. That's absolutely it. I was about to say there'll be there. You'll definitely notice a difference. And if you have the same teacher, I will hope they'll notice the difference as well between <laughs> between your skills. So, yeah, that's brilliant. But yourself, you so you you signed up and your teacher was from Dingle. You yourself are from Kerry as well. So tell me a bit about your background, if you don't mind. Yeah, well, I, I think we don't really think about much about our background. I think we get I, I think anyway, you know, you're so busy living life when you're younger and uh, working and studying and uh, dating and and all, and then you get married, you have kids, and you're busy, busy, busy. Mm-hmm. But now I have I have time to reflect. I had a, a lovely childhood uh, in Kerry. We grew, I grew up on a farm and uh, went to school, and I I had I loved 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 Kerry, loved you know just the whole freedom of the place, and uh, yeah, and I had wonderful interest in in the in the well, I was going to say Shano's dancing, but the uh, set dancing. And mm. uh, I did a lot of set dancing at home and I had great interest in the Irish music uh, just growing up. Yeah. And um, uh, there wasn't, there was, there was a bit of it in our house, you know, but uh, I, I, I think I was the one uh, of, of all of us that had the most interest in, in, okay. in the, yeah, the Irish culture really. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, no, I'm very jealous. I've I've some family members from Kerry, and but I'm very jealous that I wasn't born. I'm proud to be a Dungarvan woman. Don't get me wrong, but I would love to be from that area, of the country. I do love. Even when I fly home now, I'll fly into Kerry Airport just oh, just right. to get the feel, just to drive out of there. Do you know to, to get the little, you know, instead of landing in Dublin, I prefer maybe to land in Kerry. I feel a bit more authentic. I think. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, so you you grew up in Kerry and then you moved to Canada and then you came to your kyol and your music and so on and so forth. And how do you think now, okay, so you said you have that connection through kyol. Do you think that having Gaelga has any impact on, you know, you're living abroad, does it have any impact on yourself living away from home or living away from Ireland? Does it, does it have any, does it help in any way or does it give you that extra tie? Um, well, biggest time for me is all, all my brothers and sisters are back in Kerry and Cork, so so that that's the biggest tie. Um, I I think um, uh, I'm just so at this point I'm proud that I'm doing this now because I've had an interest in it all my life, and sometimes I think as as you get older you think oh. It's too late now, you know, kind of I should have done it when I was younger. But, you know, there's no such thing. You've only mm-hmm. got now. So just do it now and, and, and enjoy it. And, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just totally enjoying, <laughs> enjoying learning the Irish. I never thought I'd say that. But uh, so I don't have to do housework because I've got some homework to do. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant so yeah would that be would that like I suppose you're giving that would be your advice to anyone who is watching this you know or does watch this back and they think oh I'm however age or I'm in whatever stage of my life I'm too busy I'm too this or I'm too old or I'm not good enough like I totally agree with you yeah so as as I said and and it has been an eye-opener just going into bite size and and seeing people from all over the world and they have really a great interest in, in, in the Irish and, and the amount of effort they put into it. I think one of our guys spends five hours a day studying. I mean, that blows my mind, um, <laughs> you know. And what I find great with, with, with this uh, bite-sized view is that I, well, for me, it suits me because I'm not competitive. Mm-hmm. I, I don't want to be competitive. But I know some <laughs> some of the guys, I think, especially are. But um, so it, there's something there for everybody. And and I just find what works really for, well for me is just going in every day, learning a little bit, and doing the reading, and and it's just learning the words, and that you think you've forgotten, mm-hmm. and then oh yeah, I know I remember that, and who knew? I think is it eleven irregular verbs? I never knew that. 
I know <laughs> you'd be surprised what sits in the back of your brain for however long no matter how long ago or how recent you've learned things you know you'd you'd yes. absolutely be surprised awesome. even I know myself with friends and family you know that wouldn't have much Irish but I often always try well not always but I often try and sneak a couple of words of Irish in you know to see and you they do understand you and it just they don't even you often don't even know how or where or why you know the words or where it comes from but whether yes. you're starting fresh or you're coming back to Irish for yourself you're coming back to Irish you know yeah. I think the, the, if the basis is there you can just build on it and if it's not there you yeah. can you can be surprised how fast you can build that basic knowledge of any of any language be it Irish Chinese, German, it, it happens very, very quickly. So, yeah, I think what I agree with you there, like, you know, some of the people on Bite Size, they spend five hours a day. You spend half an hour, an hour, whatever. Like, but yeah. really, I think it's a great you? idea because you yes. can suit it to yourself. You can suit yes. whatever. And if you want to do your extra work on a book, on a lower that you bought and whatever time, you can outside of your, your, your Gaelic law or, you know, that kind of way. So, yeah, I really agree with you, and and I find the time and now. Yeah, and the more you do, the more the more Irish, the, the more you do, the more you're drawn into it. Um, like we have uh, Siobhan on Tuesday, and it's like okay, the first time things a bit went over my head, and I thought, oh, this is a really fairly easy script. Especially I'm thinking to myself, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you start thinking about it, and then she builds on that, and she builds on the verb and and uh, all these. Uh, the parts of the grammar that I had no idea, and then all of a sudden you get you, you're drawn into it. You get you mm -hmm. know you're drawn in and the interest is there, and then you th you you start thinking about it. How would I say that sentence in, in Irish? And what's great with the little lessons you do is that uh, you, you know somebody's looking over it and they'll give you a little correction, and it's like oh yeah yes that that would be right because you can't you can't literally look up everything. But I I, I go in and I just kind of throw my hat in the ring and do my bit every day. And I'm sure in two months' time, I look back at some of the stuff that I wrote and I'm thinking to myself, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It happens to all of us. I know. It even happens myself. I look back at some of the stuff I've written a couple of years ago and I'm like, how how did I think that was correct? But again, yeah. once you get the ball rolling, you can you build on it all the time. So, yeah, it's it's I, you're doing, not, like from what I can see in the short time that I've been with Bite Size now, I, I'll hopefully be with the, you know, for a long yeah. time more but you know so, i can see progress with yes. more, nearly everyone that does those little bite bite size you know yes. pieces every day yeah yeah it's ex excellent and it's just a great forum for for uh, uh to keep for meeting other people so that i think that that for me is is, is key too you're, you're actually meeting other people that have a, have an interest the same mm -hmm. as, as well. and everybody's helping the next person and uh, especially some of the very beginners, uh, they need a little bit. And, you know, I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, like, you know, I can help them. And, and, and of course, when you help somebody with something, it's only then you actually learn, you know. Mm -hmm. I was just talking to two members this week and, and I said, oh, I'd love to speak more Irish. And they said, oh, yes, uh, we'd love to speak, too. And I said, well, why don't we get together next Thursday and let's speak for a half an hour. They said, oh, we're all beginners. And I said, no. Oh. That's easy, you know. I'm just uh, I'll, I'll I'll ask you the questions, and we'll, you know we go through the easy stuff. So you know, and I'm looking forward to it. You know, just, yeah, just uh, meeting with them and you know doing a little bit of Irish. Yeah, I know. There's always there's that you just need that jump as well from oh I'd love to do something and yeah. then let's do it you know and I yes. think it always takes one person to just yeah. be like right let's do it so come on yeah. That's, and then you have it and then yeah. who knows every thursday every second thursday could be, yeah. become something that yeah. you know is, is a is a an ongoing thing for you yeah. and just a general meetup and a chat yeah. it's lovely yeah. and i i i love the chance to talk to you you know in the glaeco gromogor once a month or whatever whatever chance i get to talk to anyone ask Gaelic, i i lap it up because yeah. i'm abroad myself as well you know and i i'll yeah. i'll jump at any any opportunity to just have that yeah. little bit of a connection and a chat with someone else going I really I really enjoy it no matter how yes how big or small the conversation is or how you know complicated the topic is I don't mind it could be about that, the weather for all I care I just love to have that little bit of yes input yes. Yes. because you, you start thinking in Irish and, and and that's that's lovely like that's that's mm -hmm. that's really nice you know and you don't have to worry so much about the grammar you know 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're speaking Irish. You need to know, like, and you need to know a little bit, but you know, not to that extreme where the I or the H or, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just sit at the back of your head and leave it there. And if it, if it comes, if it comes out, then happy days. But yeah, it's the main thing is practice. And, you know, no one's ever said, well, it's rarely I've met a person that when you sit and talk, ask what you with them, they're yes. going to correct every single word yes. that you say and, you know, criticize you and everything. I don't think that's, that's the yes. goal no. at all. That's just... Yes. You know because you work on it you work on it as as much as you can mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes and i think uh, yeah most people are would be delighted to, to hear you speak it and, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah i i feel that anyway and and now i'll just go to say well tommy and so they might have a bit of patience with me you know <laughs> exactly yeah just say it out and see and people will will deal accordingly yeah. with you yeah so yeah so deirdre i suppose then kind of i suppose nearly to wrap up i just want to know so given obviously the times and you know travel and all of that do you think that when you do go back home again for a visit that you will be able to use your goelga when you when you land well i'm planning the next time i go back is to go back to dingle for a while beautiful and, lovely and spend a little bit of time back there because that's an area that they do speak the, the, uh, the Goyenga. so so yeah so that that would give me an opportunity to actually speak uh the, the irish but, but my, uh, of course, my, I should say, my my uh, music teacher, mm. he is uh, an Irish teacher. But, uh, he doesn't give me lessons in Irish, I uh, think. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> but he, but he, he's an Irish Irish teacher. There's a lot of, of young people now that can speak the Irish, which is amazing. I think it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's called, yeah, yeah. We didn't have that when we were growing up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you'd be surprised you'd be surprised who has it and who doesn't. Oftentimes I think there's yeah. a bit of what's the term? Like a bit of linguistic insecurity, if you may. Oftentimes you kind of have to um if I met someone on the street, I might know they have Gaelic and they could be fluent. Yeah, they might have a couple of words. Oftentimes yeah. you just have to, you know, yes. dig in there at the start. When I had a job a couple of years ago, what I'd always say Sloan or Gurmahago, yeah. just to see, just and yes bit by bit the same customers will come in to me and you'd hear them ask for their shukra and their banya and their cafe oh. they might oh. be fluent but i yes. think asserting yourself yes in the language be it a diogut yes. or a slan i think um you can you'd be pleasantly surprised i think um especially in dingle and in ireland no matter yes. what the age group is who who would be willing yeah that is totally and absolutely yes and so i'll practice when i'm back the next time <laughs> Good. Delighted to hear. I will myself as well when I when I get to go home. So, yeah. So, dear Joe, I'm delighted to have you, and I'm really thankful that you took the time out of your day today to chat to me and give your advice and share your story on Guelga and your experience with you know music and bite size bio and bite size pobble. So, would you? Would you say that you would you will continue with us and do you think that you will where do you see yourself in a year now? Do you think and hope that you'll be I yes, I I I, th I think I will stay because I don't feel that great pressure and, and you and and it's amazing what you learn a little bit. It's kind of like music. If you if you do a little bit every day, it builds mm -hmm. and it builds and it builds. You know, I'm not going to go in and do two weeks of the lessons and uh, then come home with five hours of homework. That's not me, really. So this mm. is so easy, and and all the courses are on there. If you want to look up something, and and I thought, you know, when I came first on this, oh, I'll come in and I'll run through these courses, <laughs> but but that was the way, you know. There's a lot of, of thought process gone into those courses, and there's a lot to learn from them, you know. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so I'm now taking my time and just enjoying it, really. I think that's good. The there's no rush. Good. What's the rush? You know. exactly there's no there's no time limit on it at all and you can only get better with time so yes. and uh yeah i'll talk to you again soon yes.